All right. On February 23, 2010, an AAU two-time national champion of cross country suffered a spiral fracture to the leg, which threatened his return to running forever. Uh, yet two years later, exactly on the same day, this guy committed to run for the University of Illinois. And three years later, after that, in May of 2015, he decided to transfer to Davidson College to run. And just recently, in the last couple months, he won the 5K race at the Atlantic 10 uh, Indoor Conference Championships. Davidson College is fortunate to have Will Brewster, both for his athletic accomplishments, but more importantly for his character. So a little bit of background information about Will. There was so much to draw from from his friends that I really hate to narrow it down so much because he just has a very strong personality and his friends had a lot of color to add to him. But he grew up in Evanston, Illinois. He's the oldest of four siblings, younger brothers Peter and Matthew, younger sister Megan. Favorite food is Fruity Pebbles, which I thought was funny. He does RUF and FCA Davidson. Michael Jordan is his favorite professional athlete, and he has a pretty awesome YouTube channel, which has a pretty cool tribute to Michael Jordan. You should check it out. Um, so one funny, kind of embarrassing story about Will. Earlier this year, he went on a date with a girl here named Mary Scott Manning, and they went to go play mini golf and have ice cream. And Will forgot his debit card and didn't have enough cash, so he had to ask Mary Scott to pay for their evening, and she did it, which to this day they like to talk about. So, Moving on to Will's athletic accomplishments, he was absolutely dominant in high school in track and cross country. He ran for arguably the best AAU team in the country. They were national championship runner-ups back-to-back years, and Will was a national champion individually in those two years, which is pretty amazing. And then his high school senior year, he won the Illinois State Championship in the two mile, which got him an invitation to the Arcadia Invitational, which is generally considered to be the most prestigious high school track meet in the world, actually. And shortly after this, he endured a spiral fracture to his leg, which he wasn't sure he would ever be able to run again. Uh, but then, like I said, two years later, he was able to commit to run for the University of Illinois, so he trained really well and healed. Although he was also considering offers from Alabama, Marquette, Missouri, Butler, Cornell, and another host of schools. So why Illinois? Well, his dad played golf there. There was home state pride because he grew up in Illinois. It was a really talented team. He said he wanted to do something special there. And I just I love his honesty when he was talking to me. He said, at my time, the, like my girlfriend at the time decided she was going to go to Illinois, and it played a very large role in my decision, uh, which just takes a lot of honesty to say. And then ironically enough, she decided to go to Purdue right after he committed to Illinois, and then she broke up with him, which is kind of unfortunate for Will. So he had an amazing year as a freshman. He was an All-American, which is really, really impressive. Uh, he finished 10th in the USA Junior National Cross Country Championships. He was an alternate for the Team USA Championships in Poland. Uh, and he had a great sophomore year as well, but junior year he felt like he wasn't making as much progress as he wanted to. He wanted to change in his training and coaching, uh, so he decided to transfer to Davidson. Why Davidson, you might ask? He was looking for a small school that, where he could know his professors and the student body, but he also wanted a high level of Division I athletics. He came down to Davidson, Wake Forest, and William and & Mary, and he said he felt like the students at Davidson really, really loved Davidson, and it was a community that he very much wanted to be a part of. And that transitions us to Will's character, which I think is even more impressive than his astounding athletic achievements. One thing you should know about Will is that he's incredibly sincere. He lives by many life mottos, one of which is kind of humorous, Chicks Kill Champs, which is a slogan that his teammates gave him when the night before his Arcadia Invitational out in California, which is like the biggest track event in the world for high school. He didn't get a single minute of sleep because he spent the whole night texting his girlfriend at the time. They were trying to work through something apparently, and he ran really poorly the next day, so his teammates called him Chicks Kill Champs, and it's kind of followed him all the way to Davidson. So apparently there was sort of a reaction from the girls, Davidson, the cross-country and track team, and maybe it was getting promoted too much or something. Anyway, Will decided to email all the girls on the cross-country and track team at Davidson, and he kind of said, he entitled it, My Dearest Ladies, and he wrote this very sincere, genuine apology about the unintended consequences of Chicks Kill Champs, which is very humorous, and I think they joke about it a lot. 
Uh, that's, that's just one of the stories that shows just how sincere he is, willing to apologize for something that he didn't really cause himself. Another thing you should know is that his teammates really respect him. Hannah Merck commented, Davidson is lucky to have Will because of his athletic prowess. He is the Michael Jordan of Davidson and the GOAT, one of the greatest of all time. And the Michael Jordan is a reference to Will's favorite professional athlete. Dylan Carmack added, Will, he's literally my best friend in the entire world, and I will always love him forever. And while Davidson cross-country and track coach Rennie Waldron failed to reply to my email in time for the speech, I found out that the men's soccer coach Matt Spear actually emailed his entire team earlier this semester with this sort of iconic photo of Will just busting it at the finish line, kind of asking his soccer players, like, hey, this is the kind of inspiration that we need. Like, are we making sure we're giving it this much effort every game? Sort of outlining Will's achievements and just using him as inspiration for his team. Finally, Will's sort of closest friends, those closest to him, teammates and friends, really think highly of him. I just sent out a couple emails to some people that I thought might be good friends of his saying, hey, can you give me a short quote about Will or can you maybe defer me to someone who might? And I just got so much back. It was, it was really like unexpected and pretty amazing. Aaron Forberger wrote, Will lives by the motto, moderation is for cowards. Anything worth doing in life is worth overdoing. Will doesn't do anything half-heartedly. He goes all out in everything and it's very fun to watch. And then Patrick Rollo sent a novel back to me via email. I had, to, I had to take a screenshot, and I can't read the whole thing because I can't read the whole thing for time constraints, but one of the lines I thought was really amazing was, I personally believe Brewster is one of the greatest things to happen to this campus, and I find great pride in calling myself a teammate and a friend. And to finish with a quote from Will himself that I think says a lot about him, he says, I try to live my life by three main rules. Love God, love people, try hard at everything. I figure if I do those three, I'll have a positive impact in whatever community I'm in. So whether you know Will or you don't, or you now want to meet Will, uh, I think we can agree that in a short time here, he's had a tremendous impact, and Davis is very lucky to have him. Thanks. Any questions?